Good morning, Saugus. I'm Derek Diaz, and today is Thursday, January 24th. And I'm Chris White, and this is SNN. For today's fact of the day, we thought we'd let you know how many calories you can burn by banging your head against a wall. 150 calories. 150. Please, Please stand, stand for the flag salute. Please stand. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. If you are between the ages of 16 and 19 and you want a job, the Youth Employment Services Program will, be, will have its spring session from February 27th to May 24th. Applications are available online at the website listed below. Winter Formal will be held at Saugus on Saturday, February 9th from 7 to 11 p.m. The ASB office will be closed this week and tickets will remain the same price next week. The dance is included in the dance pack or $30 with an ASB card and $35 without. Tickets will, be, will increase every week. The dance tire is, a formal, is formal. The comedy improv team is performing tonight at 7 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center. Tickets are $5 and are sold at the window beginning at 6.30. Now let's go to Mr. Marsha and Mr. Lapata with this week's Athletic Director's Minute. Good morning, Saugus. I'm Mr. Marsha, and this is Mr. Lapata with this week's Athletic Director's Minute. We're going to do some things a bit different this morning. Mr. Marsha and I, as well as Big Daddy Chris White, as well as administration, faculty, and support staff, would like to recognize a few of the new sports on campus. For starters, both boys and girls lacrosse teams will be debuting this spring while playing a full schedule. All lacrosse players have been working very hard and will represent the Blue Hammer Nation with pride. Did you know we have a wrestling team? Well, not really, but a team that consists of one person, Andres Sanchez. He does wrestle against some of the top competitors in the state, and he wrestles wearing Centurion colors. Andres, we are watching, so keep up the good work. Last but not least, congratulations to Emma Enright and Haley Hernandez for being named our Chronic Taco Athletes of the Week. Haley and Emma led our competitive cheer squad last weekend to a second place finish out of more than 80 teams in the inaugural CIF cheer competition. Come by the athletic director's office to collect your certificates. Now let's go to Row My Man Rivera with your sports news. <laughs> Good morning, Saugus. I'm Roman Rivera with your sports news. Boys soccer takes on Golden Valley today. JV and Frosh play at Central Park and Varsity plays at Saugus. All games are at 315. Tonight is senior night, so come out and show your support for the seniors in their final league home game. Girls soccer also plays against Golden Valley today. Both games are at Golden Valley at 315. Good luck to all Centurion athletes. If you are interested in joining the boys volleyball team, there will be another night of tryouts tonight at 7 p.m. in the gym. That's all for me. Now, let's take a look at another teacher on campus. Other than throwing on the wheel, I love skateboarding. Uh, I've been snowboarding a lot lately. Um, painting, drawing, uh, collecting vinyls. I love music. I didn't really get into ceramics until I went to college. Um, I was doing screen, uh, screen printing and just kind of printmaking stuff and drawing all that stuff. And then I remember just walking by the ceramics room and I figured I would try it and I instantly got hooked and uh, did it for, uh, let's say, I was up in San Francisco for six years, so I, I did it for six years and um, just threw a lot. 
I'm familiar with the kiln and glazes. A favorite work of art I did um, would probably be this, um, uh, it was a shaker I made in uh, ceramics in college. We, um, we uh, dug a pit at the beach and we um, pit all of our pieces in uh, that pit and then lit it on fire. And uh, it was kind of just like a communal kind of thing. And um, I just have a lot of memories in that piece. I have a lot of artists that I looked up to, but if I can pinpoint it, it would probably be Mike Kelly. Uh, he went to Cal Arts, which is right around the corner. And um, he's just an amazing contemporary artist. And um, he did, you know, all of the above, uh, sculpting, drawing, painting. He did uh, some artwork for, um, uh, for this album cover uh, for Sonic Youth. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but he's a really cool guy. I guess as far as um, this job, I would say is the most interesting thing, just being an art teacher, getting into this. Um, I knew there was no demand for art teachers and you know, they're cutting classes, you know, art classes left and right. And when I tell people that I'm an art teacher, they don't really believe me because I'm, you know, pretty young and I feel like even when I'm in this class I look like one of the students so I guess uh, that's one thing that's pretty interesting. You can give Mr. Stewart a warm welcome to Saugus in B206. Currently there's a little free library outside of room Q1709. You may browse and borrow any book on its shelves, and you can even contribute your own books that you would like to share with others. The UCLA Blood Drive will be held next Tuesday from 7.45 to 12.45. Permission slips are available in the ASB office and front desk. And now for your scholarship news. The SCV scholarship applications are now available on the Santa Clarita Valley Scholarship Foundation website listed below. Applications are due by 3 p.m. on February 1st in the Counseling Office. The PTSO scholarship applications are now available in the Counseling Office. In order to apply, you must be a senior with a GPA of 2.0 or higher. You must be applying to any college, community college, vocational school, or apprentice program, and you must be a current member of the PTSO. The Santa Clarita Emblem Club will be awarding schol four scholarships to worthy students enrolled in an institution of higher learning. Two of the scholarships will be awarded to a relative of a member in good standing with the Santa Clarita Elks Club or the Santa Clarita Emblem Club. The other two will be awarded to deserving students in the community. You can pick up applications in the counseling office. The Jack Pistonetti Scholarship application is now available in the counseling office. To qualify, you must be a senior planning on attending a two or four year college and have a minimum GPA of 2.5. That's all for today. I'm Chris White. Stay tuned for SNN Radio and Saugus Today. And I'm Derek Diaz. Have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow.